let's get shopping because I'm back with more gadgets. All right, so I found this really cool motorized tool that's supposed to cut your vegetables and chop it, make it super easy. So this one basically slices things. It comes with all these attachments. There's a brush attachment. There's a slicing attachment. There's this thing to keep it contained. And then there's also like one of these chopping attachments. And then this acts as both like a presser and also a peeler. We also have a cleaning tool. First, I'm actually gonna try out this brush attachment. You're supposed to be able to, ooh. Scrub your veggies clean, guys. That works, cool. And then for this one, you're supposed to be able to slice your vegetables. Let's try the carrots. The motor here is actually pretty powerful, so I'm pretty impressed so far. <gasps> Holy crap, that was like gunshots of carrots at your face. Was not expecting that. Super, super cool. Like that makes making salads game changer. It's like pennies. I'll trade you three penny carrots for a dollar. If you don't like chopping onions, I feel like this could do the job. And instead of doing like a food processor or crying when you're chopping an onion, this could be a game changer. Okay, let's see if it works. Like I wonder if I should have it in there first though or feed it in. We're gonna feed it in because it worked out well last time. I'm gonna use this one this time. <gasps> okay, so that didn't work because we obviously have a large chunk that didn't cut up. So what I'm gonna do this time is add it in first like you would with the food processor because this is what it reminds me of and then see if it works that way. Yo, this thing is cool. This is a cooking game changer. Like I hate dragging my food processor out to do stuff like this, but if I can just do like a handheld, this is a game changer. I'm gonna give this nine out of 10. If you like this gadget, the link to it is in the description box below. We're doing this again. So, so many people gave me so much hate for not using this correctly. So I'm gonna give this thing another try. So. It comes in two pieces like this. You're supposed to fill up the sides with water. The compression of the middle one should keep it in. But I got a really interesting suggestion that I should fill the inside too. I'm gonna fill this middle part to weigh it down so that it doesn't rise up whenever I add water and then let it overflow into these divots right here. Not gonna pour any water out this time. Okay, everything is super full. The plastic cup is not going anywhere. Hey, I'm doing this based on your suggestion. So if it doesn't work, it's not me. This closed down, we're gonna freeze it. And then tomorrow I'm gonna see if it worked. The next day. All right, so it's the next day. I think I'm gonna go check on those ice cubes. Okay, check it out. The lid doesn't stay on, but did it make ice cubes? Huh. So whoever suggested that I put the water in here to hold it down. Well, the thing is, is that the water kind of overfilled it. And yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna separate or take that block of ice out. It's just like one giant block of ice mass at this point. I have terrible luck with this one. I'm gonna give it a zero out of 10 because twice I did what you guys suggested and it still doesn't work. So if you guys actually have this, please tell me how to use it. Or actually, honestly, this is garbage. I'm just gonna use other reliable source of ice makers. This is trying too hard for a single thing that doesn't work. I was ready to give it a 10 out of 10 too. But Let's see if the next one could get 10 out of 10. Apple season's here. We're gonna make our lives easier by cutting and peeling apples. I've seen the apple core where it basically acts kind of like a guillotine where it just like spiralizes everything. This one looks cool because it had this shaver that kind of spins around the apple, peeling it as you spin. I thought that was really neat, so I'm gonna try it out with an apple. You know what, what's really cool is that I was wondering how I would get the apples in, but as I keep turning, it opens up on its own. So smart. Okay, let's do this. It's also got suction cups so that it doesn't move. Suction it up, baby. All right, we're gonna hopefully have contact with it soon. Oh, it knew exactly to start at the bottom of the core. This is pretty cool. <gasps> 
Okay, this is really cool. But then why wouldn't I just use like a vegetable peeler? I do have to say, I wish this had the core in there. So as I'm spinning it, it would either just slice it or like core the inside for me. So I don't have to do this, but it did pushes it right out. It's pretty cool. And you get like one long thing and you can make like an apple rose with it. But okay, let's see here. It also came with this apple cutter, which I'm sure you guys have all seen because this has existed since like the beginning of time. And you just press it down. This one's not that sharp. It feels kind of flimsy. Ugh. And we did it. You get apples. It slices your apples. It works fine. I think that the blades here could be a little sharper. It's definitely feeling a little dull. When I was pressing it down, this also kind of moved a little bit. So I feel like it could be a little stronger, but it's a good tool. It does what it says it would. So I give it an eight out of 10. All right, so I must be really into vegetable chopping because I got another vegetable chopper that's manual. Honestly, after testing that other one, this one, I don't know, I don't need it, but I was really intrigued by this attachment right here. It's a waffle fry cutter. I love waffle fries, I love potatoes, so that's what I'm gonna try, but I'm also gonna show you guys what this comes with. So this is the attachment right here. It has a lid. Everyone on TikTok raves about these things. You could basically chop like small things like this maybe you could chop some garlic which I'll show you I should try to test a garlic peeler because definitely need one of those tools Let's see if those work okay okay so this presses it down whoa maybe that's a little big for garlic but it works if you're like sauteing stuff cool that works it was very sharp it like cut everything a breeze and then you have this larger one for an onion Actually, I'm gonna test it with a tomato because sometimes like making salsa, tomatoes are a pain in the butt to chop. So we're gonna try it. Whoa. Oh my God, that was so cool. Okay, we're gonna make some salsa. I love it. Okay, that definitely worked out. I'm gonna put this into something else. And honestly, it also came with this vegetable peeler, which as you can see is garbage because it's just a plastic vegetable peeler probably give this to my kids to play with. And then it also has this egg separator, which you can put right there. Not really that useful. Actually, let me show you guys the other ones. This one is a shredder. You have a small shredder. You have an even smaller shredder. And then you have a slicer, kind of like a mandolin. Cool, but the one that I have personally been waiting for is the waffle fry cutter. If you keep it in the same direction, it's a little hard. Okay, I'm not getting waffle cut fries, I'm getting crinkle cut fries. So I think I have to rotate it in order to create those like holes and ridges. So it went this way, let's do it this way. Rotate. So I would say it's not super easy to cut. It gets stuck right here. Let me see if I do it like this, flat. Oh, okay, I wasn't getting the right angle. Oh, okay, so now it just slides off. This acts like the runway, so it can glide right off. So I'm gonna keep doing that. That makes it so much easier. All right, guys, like first time figuring out my user error. Oh, okay, well, when I did that though, the fries became super duper thin, and then you get like unfinished fries like these. I mean, it's fine. We're still gonna make them though. Oh, I forgot, it also comes with this like gripper, so you don't hurt yourself, but yeah, it feels kind of flimsy too. So I'm just gonna air fry these real quick, see if they turn out. We'll sprinkle some cheesy seasoning blend. Time to cut. So the ones that were too thin ended up burning. I wasn't out there to monitor it, obviously, but these look good. They're kind of more like chips, honestly. Yeah, this one looks really good. This one's edible. Oh, mm. seriously, I'm down for chips. This ended up making chips, but I'm not mad about it. I gave it a seven out of 10.